everybody. I'm here tonight to show you how to cook the perfect hard boiled egg. If you follow my methods every single time you will come up with the perfect hard boiled eggs. So you get hot tap water from your tap, of course. As hot as you can tolerate, put your hands into. Okay, you add salt. Let's get, us, let's get ourselves some salt. We add salt. We blend the salt. Once the salt's blended with the water, you want to make sure you're going to be about three to four tablespoons of salt. Make sure that water is nice and salty. Should taste kind of like the ocean. If you've never been to the ocean, just imagine taking four tablespoons and putting in a cup of water and trying to try and try that. Okay, then once we got that, we're gonna take our eggs, place them into the pot, very gently, as to not crack them because if we crack them in any, even the slightest, they can and most likely will. The, the whites will cook out of them and then you end up with a poached egg instead of a hard cooked egg. So then you put your lid on, set your burner as high as it'll go, turn your burner on. Now we're going to let that cook for about eight minutes which should bring up the boil very quickly. And because this is an induction burner, it will come to a boil very quickly. So we're going to probably be somewhere between six and eight minutes um, to get those eggs boiled. Um, at, at about uh, somewhere around seven minutes, we're going to turn the heat off on our burner and just let them cook with residual heat. And then I've got a neat little trick I can show you to test to see if your hard if your eggs are truly hard boiled or if they're undercooked before, without ever having to crack the shell. So I'm going to stand here with you guys and watch this pot of water boil. <laughs> I know that rule doesn't apply with candy bars, they're still in the wrapper, but still. Hit the ground, it's mine. Good enough excuse for me to eat one. Mm. Surface of water is looking well, he's getting ready to boil, it's starting to simmer. Now, as the eggs cook, you'll notice you got the bubbles of air formed from the water boiling at the bottom. It's concentrating oxygen into bubbles. It's heating up the oxygen, and the oxygen collects and forms a bubble underwater, and then that's pushed up and boop, pops and so forth. The water releases the steam. I mean, basically it's trapped steam, it's water, it's turning into gas, creates a bubble, whoop, rises to the top, explodes, and lets out steam. Whereas, you'll also notice that the egg itself will have its own streams of bubbles coming off of it, like a bubbler for a fish tank. That's because you're boiling the water inside the egg. And that water has to, it turns into steam and has to escape, and an egg shell is porous. So, we'll put this raw egg over here. 
Give it a nice soda can. Switch over to a root beer. So, we're going to give the eggs about five more minutes of boiling because the water just came to a boil. side. In fact, let me move over here to this side so this, this camera can get a better view of it. Because what you want to see, we're going to move this over a little. What we're looking for is we want to see how the egg reacts when you spin it. If you spin the egg, it kind of, actually this one's actually spinning pretty, okay, it wobbles. Um, it doesn't spin end to end see how the top is it's it's kind of wobbling see it should be spinning end to end in a complete circle and it kind of wobbles that's because the yolk is free floating inside and that yolk has to find the center of grab the center of the spin the center of the centrifugal force and because it's not a pure liquid it's kind of a jealous a jelly kind of liquid it doesn't have the freedom to move around as freely as it like, so it always has to stay attached to the white. It's got little fibers that hold it together with the white uh, that are present even when it, before it's cooked. Uh, when an egg is fully cooked and hard boiled, the, or as it cooks, the egg will spin end to end and it won't wobble up and down or the top won't turn up and the bottom end up down spinning like if you notice look at the difference in the way they spin this one spins much faster and much more normal that one won't spin as fast same spin rate that's the difference between the two that's a hard boiled egg that one's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop our water there, put that egg back in the water for now, let it sit for just a few minutes and while we put this egg away. Now I'm checking it because while I was spinning the eggs, this one clicked, clicked against the other one and yeah, I was afraid it might crack, but we're okay. And if it did, we'll use it in the morning, and that'll take care of that. Alrighty. So. Water's... We're done with the burner. Put our burner away. See, you see where the top dries instantly because of the heat, the residual heat from the pot. We're not going to put that into the cabinet right this very second. And I really need to be using a better extension cord than this. So I'll have to find one. Really want to find a better one. Put me this uh, strip off. Put it on the counter, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I might make a. Uh, Find some way to get the power up onto the counter a little bit better here. Alright. Still very hot. Could still burn you. Could still seriously burn you. Alright, so we've got our pot with our eggs and hot water. They're just sitting here on the counter. And they're just steeping away. They're finishing off their cooking cycle. We want we would much 
you're much better off if you undercook them just a little bit rather than overcook them. Once you start overcooking them, there's no, there's no forgiveness. Undercook, you can leave them sit in that hot water and they'll continue to cook for a little while. Best time to peel a hard boiled egg is while it's still hot. And you don't want to burn yourself, so you want to allow this to cool on its own just a little bit. And then we're going to move over to the sink, clear out a spot in our sink. This is a soft, softer hard boil. It's not as hard. This will feel kind of gelatiny for a little bit shortly after cooking until it cools and completely solidifies. But I want to show you a perfect hard boiled egg. So here we go. I am feeling this in the water very carefully. And there's two ways to tell a perfectly hard boiled egg. First off, that shell comes clean off with no problems. Second, what you want to see with a perfect hard boiled egg, give me just a moment, let me find a cutting board. This is what you want to see with that perfect hard boiled egg. We're going to cut it in half, and look at that, perfect yellow, no green on the outside of the yolk, split perfectly, cut very beautifully, and look at that, no green, no green showing on that yolk at all. The perfect hard boiled egg every single time. Mmm. Mmm. done peeling all of those eggs that I just made and there they are everybody perfect hard-boiled eggs every single time peeled ready to go so give it a shot at home should work for you every single time just follow those steps exactly every time and you should never have a problem they should peel nice and easy when they're cooked properly that membrane break, uh, comes free and it leaves the egg nice and smooth and shiny and, and uh, the, the shell should peel right off like like uh, the skin off of an orange so y'all take it easy thank you so much for watching if you like what I'm doing please click that subscribe button um, click the like button send me comments give me plenty of constructive criticism Tell me how I can make this better and more enjoyable for you. Until next time, guys.
Have a good evening.